Peace. Peace. Just came up here to do some current events this good afternoon. How everybody doing? Hopefully everything is well. You know. Just wanted to do some current events. The wild things that's taking place around the world. You know. About that video, about that dude getting locked up on YouTube before we start these current events. I think he had a DUI or something like that. So he was a felon for the DUI, you know and I mean? That's why he had the breathalyzer inside his car. But see, she can get in trouble too, because now everything coming out, she was blowing inside the breathalyzer. So the car, you know what I mean, can start, he still was driving it and what goes on in the African-American community. Now they telling on each other. Everybody doing videos saying she wrong. She called the police on him. She invited him in. They, uh, she invited the police in. And everybody got their opinion. And videos on what happened. Only thing really know what happened. Is the two parties that was involved. Everybody else just barbershop talking at this point. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, he's still locked up. I think it's bad. He's supposed to have an appearance today. I think the day in court, he's supposed to have an appearance today in court. But his bail was set at, I think, like 12000 This happened in uh, Sacramento, California. So she came to him. She from Texas. And she flew to him in Cali, Sacramento, and they linked up. They got into an argument before they even got that room. It was at another uh, hotel. They ended up getting kicked out of that one, and then that's when they got this one. See, flags went up right then and there, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? Where you can walk away from the situation, or you wanted to deal with the foolishness, which always occur in the African American community is all loves and doves and this, that, and the third, baby this, baby that, babe. And then soon y'all get into the slightest disagreement and it turns into an argument. Then y'all start cussing each other's out like sailors. And then the police is involved. You know what I'm saying? You live on YouTube. What you mean she called the police? She was in an argument. She was upset. Whoever was watching the live, who was her friend, made the phone call. She was upset. He called her all types of this, all types of that. Now, I mean, after she done spent bread to fly to this Negro. You see what I'm saying? So that's an attitude right there by itself. You mean to tell me I waste my bread flying to you for you to disrespect me like this? Live on YouTube for views and likes? And we in a motherfucking motel? And you just keep going and you non-stop with it. You 100 miles an hour with that shit. You know females don't forget shit. And then with this situation, she most definitely was upset. To spend some bread to fly to you to get cussed out live on YouTube. In front of how many people was inside the chat watching, y'all said? 3,000 people. So her friends was inside the chat who probably made the phone call. But she was too busy up. She was upset. She was hot. She was hoping somebody called police. At that point, the way you was disrespecting her. Then you came in there with the burner, kept clicking it, clicking it, clicking it, clicking it, clicking it. Then you drunk. You drunk. She don't know you. 
and you don't know her like that. And you here you are when we link up. You playing with a gun and you drunk as a motherfucker. The fuck? What you trying to set the bed? What, 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 somebody trying to set the bed? What you trying to set her up? Then they saying this, that. Now you was trying to set her up to swing on you so she can get locked up, but the shit ain't happening that way. It went the, uh, the other way around. That was the officers from Sacramento, California Police Department. And you already a felon. Don't pose a had no firearm. You brought that shit on yourself. If, if you had any type of sense, and if you ain't like the female like that, you should have waited for her to leave. Then did videos on it. Showed your little receipts and what y'all do on YouTube. Show receipts, show pictures if y'all did pictures. Show her new pictures have them floating around in the YouTube streets. It's the shit y'all do. The shit backfired because y'all thought y'all was going to have a lot of content out there. If it would have went the other way around, her getting locked up. The things the people do in the African-American community. Now I can say for views and likes. And donations. That's crazy. Oh, it was all for it was all for views. This this was a setup. It was a setup for the man to get locked up. It was what was it all for views until he got locked up? That's what y'all said. It was all for views before you got locked up. This was planned out. Who plans? To cuss a female out the way he was. Live. 100 miles an hour. No brakes. And she flew to him. She flew to him. I would have been upset too, ladies and gentlemen. If I fly to a chick and then I get there and the chick get to talking all this old crazy, reckless shit. I'm going to be hot because right now I'm in a... Uh, a situation, a predicament that whereas though I can't even get to the crib because I'm way the fuck over here out my whole fucking lane. I'm way out my lane. For you to be talking to me like I'm a little boy? Oh, man. I would have probably had to ooh to the airport and stay at the airport just to get away from this type of chick. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't have sat there and took the verbal abuse that was coming from dude mouth. When he was disrespecting that lady. I don't give a damn what y'all videos y'all talking about. She set him up and he this and that. If the nigga had some goddamn sense. When they linked up. She ain't even from his area. She from a whole different fucking state. She from Texas, this nigga in Cali. She flew to him just so this can happen. She flew all the way to Cali just to set him up. That's what y'all saying? She she took time out of her schedule of what she got going on in her world just to fly, fly to Cali to set that nigga up. Man, y'all niggas done lost y'all minds, man. Things that go on in the African-American community. Bottom line is this. They linked up and it taught y'all all a lesson. Stop meeting these people online that y'all don't know. And linking up with them. Because this, what can happen? How about that? It was both their fault. How about that? It was her fault because she, she ain't do her background check on that nigga. She should have did a background check on that nigga. Now y'all arguing about some HIV blood work, paperwork that ain't nobody producing. So now what y'all had sex raw, y'all just met on YouTube. And when y'all linked up, 
Y'all talking about blood work. Where y'all go at? The uh, Everest, Everest Express and got blood work done. So now y'all in there just linked up. Y'all been together for two, three days before all this shit happened. So y'all been running around the motherfucking motel room smashing raw. Then get into an argument and this big thing just blew out of control. Where he was disrespecting you. And y'all was just going back and forth like, I can't even say kids, man. How about we say puppies? How about we say puppies? Y'all was going at it like little puppies just got born. Looking for some milk. Live on YouTube for views and likes and donations. But shit went left. And this is what happened. So now y'all most definitely got to get checked out and screened to make sure y'all ain't got no type of disease from smashing raw. And most definitely y'all sisters out there, y'all got to stop that. Go and meet these jokers y'all don't even know. Then when shit go left, Y'all hooting and hollering. Talking about all niggas ain't shit. How all niggas ain't shit? Because you met a motherfucker online that you ain't even know. And you ain't even do your background on this joker. And vice versa, brothers. Some of these sisters, we need to do background checks on them. Their background ain't so clean. With all the ratchet shit that goes on in the African-American community and was caused by some of the sisters. So yeah, we need a serious, serious goddamn um, wake up call. But anyway, let's get into current events with that situation that's going on on YouTube between dude, he learned the lesson and she learned the lesson. It was lessons learned in this one, but look what lesson was learned. You had to go to fucking jail. And then not only that, ladies and gentlemen, when the police came to the hotel, they also was at his crib where he lived at. Police was at his crib and at the hotel room. Because he was on the, uh, she had said it. He was like, well, damn. And she was like, the police at your crib. And he was like, for real, I'm glad I ain't there. This is what he said. I'm glad I ain't there. Shit, they already had your location, nigga. Because of the people in the chat room. Her, her friends. Friends of friends, know what I mean? That social media shit. You got caught up. YouTuber locked up in a hotel, cussing a female out like a sailor, pulling guns out, kept clicking them. Drunk as a skunk. Drunk as a skunk. And we all know what happened with most of these females when they meet up with these guys they meet online. They never found some of the people yet that met, met up with somebody they met, met online and met up with them and don't know this motherfucker 100% lunatic. Straight motherfucking lunatic. What was that soldier movie when the motherfucker just lost it? And then he ended up shooting the motherfucking sergeant. And then he got in the, went in the bathroom and shot himself. Full metal jacket. Some of y'all running off that full metal jacket, man. Y'all just gone. Well, we're going to get into these current events, y'all. We're going to talk about this uh, Chinese man, 67 years old, that went up in that workplace and uh, shot a few people, executed a few people, was caught, 67 years old, y'all. And before this happened, the other shooting in California, that guy that allegedly shot himself inside the van, he was 70 years old, another Asian man. So it's not just black on black crime. It's all types of race crimes. You know what I'm saying? But they majority target and view black on black crime more than anything. 
You know what I'm saying? The news, that's what they do. They, you know, the news is the puppet, the puppets. The news is the puppet. And you got the puppet master sitting back like this. That's the puppet master. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of the motherfucking outlets is the uh, puppets. Let's get into it, y'all. Chin Chow Chu. After you let piece of paper tonight with victims of mass shootings here in the U.S. The terrorist attacks, y'all. Huh? New Year, at least 40 mass shootings here in the U.S., taking more than 70 lives. More than 40 terrorist attacks. Tonight, with victims' families looking on, the man accused of that deadly shooting rampage in Half Moon Bay, California, appearing in court for the first time, holding up a piece of paper to cover his face. 66-year-old Chin Li Chao now facing Chin charges, including seven counts of murder and one Chin count Chin of murder after he allegedly opened fire Chin at Chin two Chin Ra killing five men and two women. The Chin Chin Ra Wu. The workplace violence, now the deadliest mass shooting in county history. This one is in a category that uh, is way beyond anything we've ever dealt with. Late today, authorities identifying the victims who were all agricultural workers. Flowers at a memorial. 50 year old Marciano Martinez Jimenez among those killed. His brother describing him as a good man. Just 25 days into the new year, Mexican migrants, y'all. Yeah. have been killed in at least 40 mass shootings across the country, including two in California in just a matter of days. I'm Doctors saying. who treated victims of the Monterey Park massacre Saturday struggling to cope with terrorist attack. Terrorist attack. Why is always just a mass shooting when it's another race? But when it's another African American race, it's a terrorist attack. But anyway, we're gonna get to uh, Edwin Vargas. They apprehended Edward Vargas. For he was on a rampage, y'all, up in Philadelphia. Now, Jason Martinez, authorities now say that suspect had a history of violence, including two deadly shootings in a matter of days. Shawnette investigators say he killed Shawnette. four people Shawnette. in a week. Shawnette, salute, sis. That is what they're telling us, Sheba. The district attorney's office also says that Edwin Vargas was banned from having guns, but they say he still managed to get his hands on them. Investigators say 24-year-old Edwin Vargas is the link in several shootings in the city, carried out over the course of about a week. Starting in the Harrogate section of the city on December 30th, the DA's office says Vargas made terroristic threats and fired shots to threaten his ex-girlfriend. Four days later, on January 3rd, Philly police say Vargas shot at a car in Hunting Park, killing the 28-year-old passenger inside. That male uh, was shot one time in the left side of the head. He succumbed to his injury. Execute. The next day, on January 4th, Prosecutors say Vargas went back to the Harrogate residence of his ex and fired shots again to terrorize and harm her. It looked like the end when Vargas was arrested January 17th, but Philadelphia police determined there was more. Unfortunately, that arrest came seven days too late. Because prior to that, on the night, Evan Vargas was part of a group that the shot up 6700 Bacca Rolling Street and four and three individuals end up dying. That was in Mayfair. That's four Mayfair bodies. Vargas, along with three other suspects who they're still looking for, got out of a car and fired at another group of men as they got out of a car. Three between the ages of 18 and 24 died. Mm. The other was in critical condition that night. Police say surveillance video captured the shooting. The DA's office says both cars were reported stolen from Harrison Township, New Jersey. In a news conference today, Commissioner Outlaw had a message for victims' families. We understand that no amount of justice can bring back their loved ones. But we have not, and we will not rest, until all of those responsible for terrorizing our city are taken into custody. See? Terrorizing, see? Terrorizing. Terrorists. Other ones are mass shootings. In our community, it's terrorizing and terrorists. See? Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention to the words that come out of people's mouth. 
And we got the juveniles that stole all them guns. What I tell y'all? Yeah, in that other shooting, a lot of black young men out here that's running around um, heathens, they love automatics. And the, the three men that went up in that gas station and executed that gas station clerk, they apprehended them three. And one of them was from Chester, y'all. Ain't that crazy? One of them was from Chester. The other two was from Philly. But they ain't show their face, so I can't, you know what I mean? I don't know what race they are, but they've been apprehended, all three of them, y'all. And these juveniles been running up in Pennsylvania gun stores, robbing the gun stores for weapons and shit. They got most of the weapons back, but they said like 60 weapons are still missing that's on the street. And a couple of them was used in um, homicides and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it, y'all. What happened? Yeah, we're learning a lot of them are part of a street gang in Philadelphia, and investigators are accusing them of stealing guns for three gunshots, and they apparently attempted to burglarize the fourth and are planning two more. We just spoke with the Montgomery County DA, who says that some of these stolen guns recovered were used in violent crimes, including a homicide. The danger of this, you know, can't be underestimated. The guns shown in these photos and video screenshots are all part of the evidence in the 55-page complaint. It details the months-long investigation into three burglaries at gun shops in Montgomery and Bucks counties. A total of 93 guns were stolen, and now 13 people have been arrested. So people that, you know, think they're going to get away with crimes um, should know that this team effort is, is taking place every day. Um, and we won't rest until, you know, we've solved the crimes and, and get these guns off the streets. Detectives say most of the suspects are from West Philly between 14 to 17 years old and part of a neighborhood-based street gang who call themselves 54th Street. Suspects also include 40-year-old Angel Mason, 18-year-old Liv Hall, 22-year-old Dante... 40 years old, y'all. She 40 years old. Right here. And look at them. She old enough to be their mom, y'all. See? See what goes on, y'all? In the African American community, she old enough to be their mom. And here she is, part of their ring their their gun ring leadership. It's crazy. Now and a sixteen year old who all face felony charges. The Montgomery County DA says 33 guns have been recovered, some of them in other violent crimes, including a deadly shooting from back in September on 54th Street and Willows Avenue involving teens. There was an armed robbery, uh, there was a homicide, there was a shooting. Um, so this is, this is putting guns in the hands of dangerous people. The burglaries happened between September and November in the overnight hours at Founding Fathers Outfitters in Springfield Township. Target World Gun Shop in Chalfont, and here at Tanner Sports Center in Warwick Township. There's never been an incident like this in My fault, ladies and gentlemen. I had to take a business phone call, but um, we're back. 30 years here. Uh, it's a family owned business, so as you can imagine, it was a, a major surprise. Owner Jim Maxim says they've spent nearly 100 grand to beef up security with new cameras, and the windows and doors will be replaced soon. We take uh, gun ownership very responsibly. Uh, our processes and uh, background checks go pretty far and wide, and we never want to see a firearm get in the hand of a criminal. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for a few of the suspects on February 13th, and the Montgomery County DA says Damn. the investigation is February ongoing 13th. to recover <laughs> the remaining stolen 60 firearms that are still out on the street. Sheba Jason. How many? What'd she say, 30 y'all or 60? Yeah, we're learning a lot of them are part of the preliminary hearing is scheduled for a few of the suspects on February 
expertise and the Montgomery County DA says the investigation is ongoing to recover the remaining stolen 60 firearms that are still 60. out on the streets. Mm. But Jason, 60 guns still missing, y'all. Think they're going to get them guns back, y'all? You think they're going to get them 60 guns back? That's, that's a... It's a tough one there, y'all. It's a tough one there. Even if they start telling who they sold the guns to. That's what goes on in the African-American community. I told y'all. When they do their crimes, they be using automatics and shit. That's a fact. 85% of them do anyway. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's um, income tax season. I know y'all getting ready for that. Y'all going to go out and buy all the cars. <laughs> they know y'all coming, too. They said, let's get out there and get these cars, because I know they coming. The people that be here, you know, to buy all our used cars. They'll have them for about a week, a week or two before it's broke down. They're going to run out by all big screen TVs, Walmart waiting for y'all. Because they know what y'all going to do every time y'all get y'all income tax cash. You know, the China man most definitely waiting for y'all. <laughs> China man most definitely waiting for y'all. You no, know, he going to load the shelves up. And that's a fact. But for those who out there that don't know about a rent rebate, for all my senior citizens out there that don't know about the rent rebate program, and you on Social Security, you just take your uh, yearly statement to any, um, I think the libraries do it, some tax places do it too. They probably charge you about like $10. There's some people that charge, they don't charge you at all. You know, so you see if you're eligible for that uh, rent rebate, a lot of people don't know about that. A lot of my elders and people on Social Security don't know about the rent rebate. And they usually roll them checks out around July. You know, for 2022. And I think in 2021, the governor, Tom Ridge, he, not Tom Ridge, I'm sorry, Tom um, Wolf. What made me say Tom Ridge? <laughs> Y'all remember Tom Ridge? But I think it was uh, Tom Wolf. He signed in, forgot the name of the funds they call it, for the um, rent rebate program, where you get like 70, whatever you get. You get 70% adding on to that or whatever you get. And that was part of a program they had, relief program. I don't know if that relief fund's there. See, a lot of them funds dried up, y'all. A lot of them funds dried up. I was talking to y'all about that. You know? But, uh, yeah. But I just wanted to come up here and shoot the breeze with y'all. You no, know, do a little current event here, a little current event there. But I can go live, y'all. I can go live on this channel, y'all. And start going live, y'all. When I pop up on the scene and they having some type of function or something like that, I'm going to go live. You know what I'm saying? So you never know where I'm going to pop up out on you at. You never know where I'm going to pop out at. And I'll be live now, y'all. Remember, I can go live. I can go live. You see why I'm recording? I got my um desktop recording the video while I'm out. Like, I'm out now recording. It's also recording at the desktop. Just in case if I lose the uh, recording, I got it on backup. Recording automatically. 
But with that being said, y'all, until the next time, y'all stand on y'all square. I love you all. And stay blessed, y'all. Stay blessed.